Kan macam haus, sedih, 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 kait, sedih, harus diaksin. On a daily basis, I, as an individual, ask and pray to the spirit world and the natural world for guidance. The sun is part of nature, and the sun is part of the spiritual existence. And I pray on a daily basis to the sun and to other spirits to give me proper guidance so that I can walk softly in this world. Watching the sun has been a part of our tradition and culture ever since we emerged from the underworld. And as they were traveling up the color stages, when they came upon the white world, which was the sun, uh, was there that had provided the light for our, our people when they emerged from the underworld. The sun is, is our father, is our provider, is our life giver, and it's our guidance. It is so important to know the sun and, and the sun symbol. Your whole administration, you're dealing with uh, the religious uh, sectors, revolves around watching the sun. Rituals are conducted based on where the sun is sitting on the mesa. Without the sun, there wouldn't be any life. We wouldn't have crops for the people, our livestock to eat. We wouldn't have any seasons. I never knew, but my mother later in life told me that my grandfather would come to our house and he would put me on his back and he would take me out and be gone for half a day and my mother never knew where we went. Later in life, I, I thought that he was really introducing me to Father Son and the spirit world to give me the kind of guidance that he wanted me to have in his life, in this world. Our history isn't written, so it's all orally told. We get our history being taught to us, and that's kind of during the winter months, which a lot of the stories are being told, and your parents uh, should be handing down some of the uh, traditional stories that you hear. Sitting in a fireplace and our grandmother will have um, maybe some pinions or eating on corn, uh, roasted corn, and she'll be telling us story, winter stories. And these stories reinforce uh, ideas and philosophies. The history of sun symbol goes way back when we started as the people. The sun symbol is part of the religious culture. It goes back to way back to our ancestors. <laughs> As I was cleaning the inventory room of my society, I found a ceremonial vase that had the Zia sun symbol painted on it. They're used for religious purposes, for summer solstice, for a winter solstice, and this pottery with the sun symbol painted on it uh, is in our society, and it will remain there so that their children can continue to use those faces, those that are members of my religious society. In the community, we uh, cherish that symbol as something that's close to home. And all that is symbolic in the teaching within our Pueblo and how we practice our tradition and our culture with our ceremonies, our dances, our prayers that we offered a son. He's our messenger. He's, that's where we get our energy from. I mean, uh, without the sun, do we, how do we survive? The Zia San Simba represents life, prosperity to the people of Zia and also to all living things. <laughs> 